How's it going, everybody? It's Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Robloxes, where we will be taking on Night 5 in this video, and this is the night we're not actually going to be dealing with any new animatronics. <laughs> April Fools, I'm just kidding. We are dealing with Eric on Night 5, and he becomes active on this night at 3 o'clock a.m. Just thought I'd do an April Fools joke to you all. Happy April Fools Day. It's the one time of the year we get to play tricks on each other. But anyways, without further ado, we will start Night 5. And from what I know, Eric should be is going to be pretty easy to deal with because he's a Golden Freddy, and all you have to do for Golden Freddy or Golden Freddy characters is just put up the camera, and then they go away. That's what you have to do with Golden Freddy and like Five Nights at Freddy's One. You just have to put the camera up, and then out the door he goes. Okay. All right. So Eric's the only one new we're dealing with, and of course. And wait a minute. Hold on. I think I actually see Eric. Yeah, that's Eric. Wait. I thought that was Eric, but that's actually a lamp. Okay. Oh, so I got fooled. Oh, great. I got April fooled in this game. But anyways, um, on with the game itself. Alright, so I don't have to worry about Eric until 3 o'clock a.m. because... That's when he'll start moving. And of course, the characters will move at the same time, like Yellow Noob, 12 a.m., Builder Man moves at 1 a.m., uh, Robux moves at 2 a.m., and then um, Roblox moves at 3 a.m., say with Eric, and then uh, Old Roblox will move at 4 a.m. Like, he's always the last to move. Which I think that's him, or that's Yellow Noob. I think that's Yellow Noob, because he's, cause he's eventually going to get to his full Roblox form. Actually, I spoke too soon. The characters are now pretty active this night. I thought they were going to move at their correct times, but they're not. They're going to be more active. Ah! Oh, great. I've been April Fooled again. God, this game just April Fooled me twice. I was thinking they were going to move at the same time, but they're not. From what I know, Roblox is probably going to move like be the last to leave the stage, because he's usually the last to leave the stage. And if I'm correct, he did. Ah! There we are, still Robux, and Yellow Noob's going to be moving soon. That's why I have the left door closed. And let's hope, and I'm most likely not going to get April fooled by Eric, because we know he will move at 3 o'clock a.m. Whereas the others are moving at different times, because they're more active this night. Yep, I heard the yellow noob. Gotta open the door. Alright, so I gotta start checking both doors. Because I saw two of the characters moving. And it's 2 a.m. It's already 2 a.m. right now. Once it hits 3 a.m., we gotta deal with Eric. Once 3 a.m. arrives. Okay, I'm just looking around my office. Um... To check to see who we're dealing with. Ah! Okay, I just had to deal with two characters at the same time, both Robux and Bill and Roblox. God. From you, the, from what you can tell this night, the teaming's gonna be worse than night four and night three. The teaming's gonna be much worse. Okay. It is now 3 a.m. Oh God, Eric just moved. Okay, so that's Eric. He just comes in and like spazzes the game. Okay. And of course, I gotta put the camera up because he's a Golden Freddy. Not gonna be checking that other camera because Eric could be coming to my office at any minute because he is now active because we just hit 3 a.m. I'm just only gonna focus on one camera and then check both doors because Eric just comes at a random time when he starts moving. Ah! And as you saw, Eric just came in, put the camera up, dealt with him, perfect. Check for Yellow Noob, okay, he's good. Checking both doors. Ah! Nope, you're not coming in, Builder Man. Alright, so I have a different strategy for night five now. Looks like once we got to 3 a.m., my strategy changed. Alright. Okay. I'm checking for the characters at the doors and um Eric, same with Yellow Noob. Which you just saw him there. There we are. Dealt with Robux. Okay. Alright, 
And now I gotta close the left door because yellow noob's gonna be coming soon. Alright. And old Roblox just came, so I had to just close the door on him. Of course, old Roblox will move at the same time. Stay more. Same with Eric, which I got jump scared by. Great. God, it's the third time the game April fooled me. God, I was literally about to put the camera up and I didn't have enough time to when Eric just spawned out. Oh my god. Eric is definitely going to be crazy in this game. God, I was doing so well until I got jump scared out. Alright, so I'll have two strategies tonight. Like, I'll check... I'll check this, I'll check the stage camera and then where Yellow Noob is until, until 2 a.m., until 2 a.m., and then at 2 a.m. only, or not 2 a.m., until 3 a.m. I'll check two of these cameras till 3 a.m., and then at 3 a.m. I'll just focus on this camera because I have to deal with Eric, obviously, because he doesn't move until 3 a.m. For now, I can just keep the camera up because nobody's left the stage yet. I didn't even have enough time to react when Eric came. And that's the same problem I had with old Roblox on night one. Like, I didn't have enough time to react and he moved. Okay. Alright, so the movements are changing this night, obviously, except for old Roblox. He still moves at 4 a.m. And then Eric will move at 3 a.m. And then the others have changed their time of arrival for this game. Like at the door. Ah! Okay, I just got rid of Roblox. Perfect. And then the other two are going to be coming. Shut the left door, because the yellow noob's coming. And then check the right door. Check Sue's on stage. Okay, Builder Man is on the stage. There you go. Got rid of Robux. Perfect. I'll check that other camera. Builder Man's still on the stage. Roblox and Robux, of course, moved. Let me see. Are they all? Uh, they were all. They were briefly all on the stage, and now two of them left. Okay, I can open the left door again because yellow noob left. Check the stage one more time, cause I gotta start checking these doors now, cause I don't know who's gonna be coming next. Cause I know Eric's gonna be coming at 3 a.m., which is almost 3 a.m. actually. Ah! Ah! What the hell? What? How did you come twice, Robux? Like how? God, seriously, you just April fooled me for the fourth time. Like, how does Roblox come twice at the right door? That's messed up. Okay, and I just had to deal with Eric, because cause 3 a.m. is when he starts having a spaz attack. God, this game's literally April fooled me, which is appropriate for the day, because after all, today is April Fool's Day. Now I'm just going to stick to my second strategy, which is only check camera for y'all noob, and then check both doors, and then put the camera up for when Eric arrives. Okay, he just arrived, so I just put the camera up. Okay. Ah! Okay, I just had to deal with Builder Man. Jesus. Is anyone at the right? Nope. Camera up. Nope, you're not coming out. You're not coming to get me, Eric. Just got rid of you. There you go. Got rid of Robux. Who apparently appeared at my door twice when I had to deal with him. 
Shut the left door because yellow noob's coming. And then I'll have to close that right door eventually. There you go. Just dealt with old Roblox, who still comes at 4 a.m. The thing with old Roblox is that he usually comes like once or twice each night. Like, you don't have to deal with him that much. That. And I'm going to close the right door because the exposure mirror is getting full. So I'm going to keep both doors closed now. So yeah, that's the third strategy. Keep both doors closed when the exposure mirror is about to get full. And I'm actually going to keep the camera up the whole time because Eric actually will raise the exposure mirror too. That way I don't have to just keep constantly putting the camera up. So I'll just search through all the cameras in the meantime so I can avoid Eric. Because, I mean, the only time I get to search through all the cameras is when I have both the doors closed. Which is usually how it works in this game. But, I mean, I always finish with plenty of power because, I mean, I don't use much of it. Oh, I think I just saw Eric and then he just kind of disappeared. All three of the guys were briefly on the stage and now two of them left. Right now all I can do is just flip through the cameras because I'm trying to protect myself. I got both doors closed and the camera up so I don't want anybody to try killing me. So I'm just going to search through the cameras because I got nothing better to do. <laughs> Alright, we beat night five. Perfect. And now we get to listen to this amazing music. So I'll be dancing to it. God, I love this theme. Alright, is there a night six? Let's see. We just beat night five. Oh, we got credits. Okay, coding by Gadino Games, which... This game is made by Godino Games. Audios from One Night's at Flumpties and Roblox theme. Engine Roblox. Click Team Fusion the end. So, of course, this game is made by Godino Games or Goddino. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, so we have unlocked extras and we got and we earned a Roblox guy right on the screen because we beat Night 5. Okay, so I will take a look at the extras right now. Okay, so we got jump scares, Robloxians, and then Night Six. Let's take a look at the Robloxians first. We got Roblox, Builder Man, uh, Robux Man, Yellow Noob, Old Roblox, and Eric. And now we will take a look at the jump scares. Okay, that's Rob. We'll do all the jump scares. That's Robloxes. <laughs> Okay, nice. Okay, so that is all of the Roblox characters' jump scares I just played for you. <laughs> and we will take on Night 6 in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.